For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. A silent strike was observed in Myanmar on February 1st as the country marked one year under military control. On this day in 2021, security forces deposed and detained State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi and other senior leaders of her party, National League for Democracy. The military justified the coup by alleging widespread irregularities in the 2020 parliamentary elections, which Suu Kyi's party had won in a landslide. Following her arrest, Myanmar was placed under a state of emergency for one year. All state power was handed over to the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. However, the people of Myanmar have not accepted this. Beginning from simple protests in the form of banging pots and pans, people's resistance soon morphed into a mass civil disobedience movement. Health workers, teachers, government workers and students all staged walkouts demanding a return to civilian rule. The military junta began imposing internet and communication shutdowns. On February 9th, a 20-year-old protester was shot in the capital. The incident signified the start of a major escalation in violence by junta forces. Hundreds of thousands of people took to the streets in routine protests in major cities, including Yangon, Mandalay, Magwe, and the capital, Naypyidaw. According to UN estimates, around 1,500 civilians have been killed in the ensuing crackdown. Almost 12,000 were unlawfully detained, out of which nearly 9,000 remain in custody. As people took to the streets, the military began announcing criminal charges against Suu Kyi. Overall, she stands accused in over a dozen cases with a combined sentence of over 150 years in prison. On December 6, Suu Kyi was sentenced to four years in detention after being found guilty of incitement and breaching of COVID-19 restrictions. Her sentence was extended by another four years on January 10th after she was found guilty of being in possession of unlicensed walkie-talkies. Beyond the junta's crackdown on major towns and cities, Myanmar witnessed the emergence of armed civilian resistance in alliance with existing ethnic armed groups across states and border areas. The junta retaliated with airstrikes, shelling, raids and arrests. By the end of December, the UN stated that over 2,200 civilian properties and houses had been burned or destroyed. Data from the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project shows that violence has now spread across the country. Figures collated by the project suggest that about 12,000 people have been killed so far. Speaking to the BBC, UN Human Rights Chief Michelle Bachelet agreed that the situation in Myanmar could now be termed a civil war. As of January 17, the UN estimated that over 406,000 people had been internally displaced due to armed conflict and unrest since the coup. The coup combined with the impact of international sanctions and the COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated the economic crisis in Myanmar. According to the International Labour Organization, 25 million people or nearly half of the country's population were living in poverty by the end of 2021. The UN has estimated that 14.4 million people will need humanitarian assistance in 2022. Myanmar has also been identified among 20 hunger hotspots in the world by the World Food Programme. Junta leader Min Yong Ling extended the state of emergency in the country for another six months on February 1st. Meanwhile, the US, the UK and Canada imposed fresh sanctions on the junta. Under threat of violence, a small flash protest was held in Yangon with activists throwing red paint on the road.